we come before you this evening and pray for your divine protection over our brothers and sisters in the path of storms along our Gulf Coast. You are our rock and our shelter in the midst of the storms of life. You are the God who commands the winds and the waves, and we pray that you will provide refuge to our people. O oh Lord, you have granted us certain natural rights, such as the right to speak freely, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, as well as religious freedom, the right to assemble, and the right to self-defense. Only in America have these God-given rights so flourished and been categorized as belonging to the people, embodying the very essence of our government. Father, we pray that this outlook and mindset, this form of government continues, as has been our history, especially now when to our horror it is being challenged. And so we pray that God gives strength and health to our president, who has splendidly demonstrated daily his determination to defend and maintain the God-given rights of our citizens as enshrined in our Constitution and in our Declaration, eloquently passed down through our Judeo-Christian tradition. President Trump has stood up fearlessly against those who are corrupting the term social justice so as to deny Americans their birthright and these divine gifts. May God protect him. May God bless all those in government and among our citizens who seek to honor, defend, and preserve our heritage. This land was founded in an epic and providential moment. Like the revelation at Sinai, it was the moment when the vision of God rendezvoused with the soaring and noble plans of appointed men. Yet, every so often, apace various generations, we are compelled to resurrect and give rebirth to our providential beginning to renew our present days with the exuberance of those founding days. Perhaps that is what is meant when we say, make America great again. We pledge to vigilantly protect and tend the garden so as to imbibe its blessed fruits. May God continue to make America great, and may we continue to be his people, one nation, under God, and let us say, Amen.